Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Commodities Update Video. And today we'll be looking at technical analysis on natural gas futures, as well as UNG, as well as oil, US dollar, gold, and silver. We'll be looking at their technical analysis resistance level, support resistance levels, as well as the most likely scenario price to be heading into later this week. And if you guys like to support the channel, feel free to go to Patreon link and as well as the coaching sessions, check that Patreon link out and let's get started on natural gas. So natural gas futures, we're looking at the adjusted chart. So we're adjusting the contracts and we'll have those gaps and we're only one hour time frame, and pretty much we hit that 1.65 support zone that um, I drew out on this blue line, which is the historical, one of the historical zones. Um, if we look back on the weekly chart and we go all the way back to like, let me take a look. Gotta unadjust that. All the way back to this level. You can see that 1.65. There's some support here. And if we go below that, we're looking at this structure where it's like the 1995s. And there's a little bit here as well. You can see 1.65 at that um, 2016 low. And as you can see, we went um, too close to 1.4 ish zone here in the um, 2020. So there's some support at this lower range of the um, of the entire history of net gas. But um, we still want to see Bulls play some offense. Otherwise, these defense are just not that meaningful. We just keep on, you know, defending these bottom areas and not really going up much. So it was defended, but you can see we popped here. Um, looks like some news event, but uh, we didn't even close above this prior resistance, right? Remember this black line here? Support, 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 where it acted as a support all the way back. And we said that if that breaks, we're probably coming down to the low of the structure, which we ended up breaking. So we came all the way down here. Now that support is acting as a resistance. So we can't even close above that um, prior support zone now. But what we want to see at the first step, very, very bare minimum, this is a big bounce, right? Big enough where we can potentially change the hourly trend an uptrend right now it's just a pop that's it we need a higher higher low and a higher high for an uptrend to confirm right now we just have a pop that's it so that's not an hourly uptrend but we have enough space now at that we can potentially change that and i want to get an hourly uptrend as well as a close above that black line where it was prior uh support i wanted to see now act as support again i don't want to see it act as resistance um as a bear, you definitely want to see the active resistance. Prior support now becoming resistance is a good sign for bear. And um, if we do go lower than 1.65, take a look. Which is, it will, I'll be looking at this black line where it's diagonally going down. If we pretty much it hit there. Um, but if we drag it out, you know, a little bit longer, there's more room on the downside. Break that, we're looking at 1.57, which is these blue lines are just historical lows. And those are the only support right now at the moment uh, if we go on the unadjusted chart. So yeah, let's take a look. Let's see if um, bulls can show up. If we do break above uh, this 1.75 zone, which is uh, that black line, we close above it. Then I'm looking at potentially this diagonal looking black line, which is which has been trending down. You can see here, resistance, 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 and other resistance here just recently. So um, if we do come up, then we're looking at that 1.84. And if we can break 1.84, then we're looking at that absolute um, major resistance at 1.93, which has been resistance forever since this quadruple top here. Can't get over it for like four days here. And then we rolled over, came back up, finally grind up, tested it again, and then, you know, we couldn't get over it again. So yeah, pretty clear resistance at this major zone, 1.93. Um, at the moment and support we can only say this is a decent support we bounced off of it one so far if you know if we come back down and bounce it off again then we could start saying this could be a major support but at the moment it just a bounce um, nothing crazy yet um, but big enough bounce where bulls can try for a trend change now let's see if we can get it so on the next Pretty much on this pullback, we don't want to give back too much. We don't want to be all come all the way down here. We want to pretty much 
form the higher low and then bounce and try to break this prior high for an hourly uptrend to confirm. If you do that, then bulls have their very first step of potentially going a little bit higher. But as of now, it's just defense. All right, let's take a look at UNG. So UNG here, uh, similar idea with natural gas, where it popped, and we pretty much give back half of it. It's not a good sign, but as long as um, we don't give back all of it, we're still okay. Let's see, it's more than half, and a little bit higher than half, so that's better. Um, I want to give it over half. We give it over half, then start to favor the bears. Let's take a look. Bounce sideways. Okay. On the five minutes, it doesn't look so bad because it was just this candle. It was like, you know, and then we chop around here, consolidate, and then we pull back and then close the low there like that. That would have been much worse than um, pop. And then, you know, we go sideways. That. So short term, very, very short term support. Pretty much this flag here. As long as we don't break below that on a five minute, um, then there is some minor short term, very short term support on the five minutes. And let's see, we can come back, break above this high. That'll be a good sign for the bulls. Bears definitely want to break the space and then just roll over back to the lows. All right, take a look at, um, let's see here. If you guys want to Discord and chat, it's a free chat room. It's in the descriptions or in the bio or in the, in the um, comments. Just click the link. It's absolutely free. Just come hang out if you guys want to check about stocks. As well as if you to book that 15 minute free call. If you guys are looking to get some coaching going on, if you guys are looking to master your trading, get consistent profits over and over um, throughout a long period of time. Because trading is a consistent game. Um, and it's a long term game for sure. All right, let's take a look at oil. So oil here is, hmm, okay. So we made no huge red flags yet, but we made big enough space on this drop. And this could potentially um, form a head and shoulders. We go like that, and then, you know, go down like that. So a head and shoulders, psychology of it, it's an uptrend into a downtrend. So you don't need to picture perfect head and shoulders or anything like that. Um, you just I need to know it's an uptrend into a downtrend. If it breaks the neckline. So right now, we have made big enough space where this could potentially form that head and shoulders if we do break below this Monday's low. So we'll see about that. If we break below Monday's low, then we can come down to 78.76. If it holds right here, then we can probably come back up and retest the highs. There's no, no huge red flag at the moment yet. We did lose a daily uptrend. Now it's in daily neutral trend, but it's only initial. This was just initial little bit of a blow off top look, but um, we still need to get that structure change. Because we did get that blow off top on Monday and, and Friday, but bulls pretty much bought that dip over here. So we closed pretty high of the day. Yeah, so we either we get the head and shoulders, pull back, or um, market bounces. It really depends just on the geopolitical um, macro. And sometimes, um, especially some commodities can't outdo it, but uh, it'll show up in the charts. You know, you put political tension increases, you know, we get a pop or drop, it, nobody can control that. Just set your stop loss and your target, and you will be okay. All right, so look at the US dollar. US dollar has been ripping, same thing, geopolitical issues and rate hikes, inflation, everything. It just, um, it's ripping. So we're looking at a monthly uh, resistance now. So you can see we just over here. So big enough bounce, we pull back. Now we're coming back up to this monthly resistance. If we do break this monthly high, which is 107.3, that's a monthly uptrend confirmed. And that may get some follow through um, if that happens. Uh, if don't break this high, then it will be looking more like an equilibrium. And we'll see how it happens when the dollar starts to slow down. At this moment, zero signs of it slowing down at the moment. Every day we're closing on high of the day. So momentum is strong and it's still going. And we're testing this structure right now. So we do head a little bit higher, part 106.7. And then it's pretty much high of this sideways zone. 
If that, then the monthly resistance broke, and then monthly resistance um, broke in, probably head, heading higher. All right, gold here. Gold is no red flags, even though I said this something last week that this is potentially a blow off top, but we're not. There's no structural change yet for the um, bulls. This is just one straight up move. Even though this could be a block top, we're not even testing the 12 EMA yet. Not even um, forming a daily downtrend or any kind of pivot being broken for the bulls. So, yeah, we have a minor resistance here, but that's about it. So, right now we can say if the bulls get over 2432, we're probably going to head a little bit higher than that. So, um, yeah, no more flex until we see some potentially maybe sideways action here below this all-time high structure. Silver a little bit more red flag than gold because of due to the size of the pullback, but silver is a lot more volatile than gold, which is normal. Still no red flags at the moment. You can see we didn't even break below the prior um, minor pivot here that we made here. So you can see this actually closed above higher than this. No huge red flags at the moment, and we're still within this 28. 0.1 and 29.7 zone, which is that all-time high zone. You can see we're above this $28 zone. So we're kind of trading this little area here. As long as we hold above 28.1, which is this cluster of resistance above here, and we just bounce around in here, that's a good sign for the bulls. Because after such a significant move up, going sideways means it's favoring the bulls. So if we hold above here, bounce, and just chop around sideways, go like that, then then we'll know exactly where to put our stop losses and um, targets. If we break above, that's another bull break. If we break below, it's a distribution zone. We'll know. And, but for now, very clear zone, 28 and 29, 27. All right, let's go for you guys, and I will see you guys potentially Thursday. If not, for sure, Saturday. For more updates, and have a great rest of you guys this week. Make sure to set your stop losses and target. All right.